Alright, in this video we're going to do problem number 22 on the free ATIT's math practice test that I have posted over at www.ecraftmath.com. Number 22, while spending our wedding moon in Jamaica, my wife and I had to travel from Montego Bay to Negril. The GPS showed a travel distance of 81 kilometers. To the nearest whole number, how many miles did we travel from Montego Bay to Negril? Here's a conversion here, 0.62 miles is approximately 1 kilometer. Two ways we can do it. One way, classic way, is a proportion. So I'm taking this conversion here, 0.62 miles is the same thing as one kilometer, approximately. Since this distance here is kilometers, I'm gonna put that over here on the kilometer side, and we want to figure out to the nearest whole number how many miles we have x miles. From here, we just cross multiply and divide just like any other proportion. Therefore, if we take 0.62 times 81, we get 50.22 is equal to x times 1, the other cross product is x. Now, if we round this to the nearest whole number, that's around 50 miles. Now, this is the classic way to do it, a proportion. Most people probably would tackle it this way. Now, some of you may know, hey, I need to multiply these numbers, but you can get easily confused on when to multiply versus when to divide. But yes, a fast way to do this one, since we know that 0.62 miles is approximately one kilometer, and we have 81 kilometers, we can take 0.62 times 81, we get the same answer. And as a matter of fact, that's exactly what we did right here. We took 0.62 times 81, we got this, and then x times one is just x, so we have our answer. But I'm trying to throw that out there. You know, you could have easily, right off the bat, multiplied these two numbers together. But sometimes you have to be careful with these problems because you may think you need to multiply when sometimes you may need to divide. That's where a proportion can get you out of trouble. If you're a little bit concerned of, should I be multiplying, should I be dividing, set up a proportion like I did here and you'll be good to go. And there you have it, problem number 22 on the free ATIT's math practice test. And again, you can find this over at www.bcraftmath.com. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.